In addition to these roads, the FWO has also constructed some important roads which are vital from the defense point of view. These go over glaciers at many places. These roads have not only made it easier to convey defense stores and supplies to the forward positions, they have also offered safe and speedy means of supplies and quicker means of transportation to the people of the area. Another colorful feather in the plumed cap of the FWO is its network of roads to the highest battlefield at Sia Chen. Taking supplies to the frontiers was a very daunting, difficult and extremely expensive exercise. With virtually no land transportation, supplies were taken to the region by air and adverse weather conditions always hindered smooth operations. Under these circumstances, the FWO offered its services to lay a road network through hitherto inaccessible mountains. And, true to its reputation and resolve, it built a set of roads right up to the forward positions at Sia Chen. Most of these roads traverse over altitudes of 10 to 13,000 feet above sea level. The construction of these roads has had a positive effect on the system of supplies and logistics of the army. The government of Pakistan assigned FWO the responsibility of road construction in other areas of Balochistan, Azad Kashmir and Chitral. And FWO rose to the challenge with dedicated hard work. Today the FWO projects have transformed the lives of millions of people from the snows of Siachen and Skardu to the sprawling sands along the seacoast of Makran. Furthermore, the making of the Khanpur Dam near Islamabad added another dimension to the versatility and potential of FWO. This irrigation come water supply project was completed in record time. This project opened a new field for the ingenious engineers of the organization. The extension project of the powerhouse at Mangla Dam offered new possibilities to the FWO. This was a very technical and challenging construction project of its kind. Hitherto, such projects had been the domain of foreign construction companies. The FWO ventured into this domain successfully, thus ending the monopoly of foreign firms and saving large sums of foreign exchange. The Mangla Powerhouse extension project demanded the use of the latest technology and professional expertise since it involved the laying of 30-foot diameter pipelines in 2,000-foot long tunnels and the concrete filling of thousands of cubic feet. The tunnels were to be opened with controlled blasting, which required the highest professional skills. However, this project was completed with such assurance and skill that it will serve as a model of professionalism for other construction companies. In view of the professional standards of the projects completed by this organization, it was assigned another prestigious project, the construction of a thermal power project at Muzaffargar. This was an 800 million rupee project designed to provide 630 megawatts of electric power to the national grid. Work on the projects involved the construction, fixtures and installation of huge storage tanks for furnace oil with a capacity of 79,000 cubic feet. Since the project involved the daily consumption of over 3,000 tons of oil, a railway track was laid to ensure the smooth and regular supply of oil to the powerhouse. The project also has the provision of converting to gas as the fuel in the future. Water used in the plant is chemically treated through state-of-the-art technology. The magnitude of the project can be measured by the two colossal chimneys in its exhaust zone. 
These towering structures are 640 feet high, twice the height of Minari, Pakistan. These are probably the highest chimneys in the subcontinent. These chimneys spew the smoke and exhaust from the boilers very high up in the air to guard against environmental pollution. This project was closely monitored with the help of computers. It was meticulously planned and executed with the utmost professional skill. Yet another success story of this dynamic organization. Construction Machinery Training Center is a subsidiary setup of the FWO. It trains workers in the operation, maintenance and upkeep of construction machinery on modern lines. It emerged in 1986 as a result of a technical cooperation agreement between Pakistan and Japan. The syllabus and system of training are designed on most modern lines. It involves classroom teaching, training and demonstrations, followed by actual outdoor training on machines. The organization has recently celebrated its silver jubilee of service to the nation. Its achievements rise above the projects as it has transformed the lives of millions of countrymen, particularly those living in far-flung areas. These are not just ordinary roads, they are highways to hope. 